Hello, today is the last lesson about the English Defense Gambit and I would like to show you the white's alternatives on how to face, how to play for advantage in this interesting Gambit line. So I checked just many options for white after c4, b6, d4, e6, e4, bishop b7 and here, despite that uh, many play in this position, the standard move bishop d3, which after uh, knight c6, knight d2, and knight b4 leads to the slightly better position for white, uh, knight c3, knight takes d3, queen takes d3. So, uh, as I explained, the uh, Ruslan Ponomary of just uh, trying to play this position is black. However, I believe that, that white is still keeping slightly better position because of the central control. So the game between Laszlo Gonda and Attila Chebek continued g6, h4 and here instead of d5 move black played h5, however bishop g5 led to the slightly better position for white since bishop e7, queen e3 Black has a difficult choice. Auto play f6, which is weakening seriously the pawn on g6. Or after bishop take g5, h take g5, black lost the two bishops' advantage. After d6, long castling and queen d7, king b1. So white still kept slightly better position and won in this game after 37 moves. So I saw few more games like that when white is uh, trying to use his center control just not to allow black to open up a position and trying to keep the advantage in space. The other try in this situation is happening in the game between Irina Crush against Larry Christensen and Haas against Kaufman, all the boss play in the United States Championship. So after d4, e6, c4, b6, e4, and bishop b7, so in both games happened bishop d3, f5, so instead of knight c6, black continue the idea of Nigel Short which he played against uh, Alexander Belavsky and here not to play bishop take g2 as we know which leads to the very dangerous situation after queen h5 check g6 and f take g6 which we studied already a few lessons however black first plays bishop b4 check force white to play king f1 and after knight f6 White didn't play a, according to Bilavsky bishop e2 but simply continued knight f3 short castling a3 bishop d6 so both games continue that way and Haas played here bishop g5 queen e8 knight c3 queen h5 d5 and somehow got a uh, initiative when Irina Crush uh, decided immediately to capture on e6 against Larry Christensen however after f takes e6 d takes e6 knight c3 queen e8 queen e2 and here suddenly come bishop takes f3 so black is going to exchange the already developed white pieces in order to fight for the d4 pawn knight c6 bishop e3 e5 and suddenly black got quite unpleasant initiative so white's king is still on f1 black is having semi-open f-file 